Hi everyone! I made a couple videos in the past of doing like goth to normal or goth to girly or like alternative male to female makeup transformations and they tend to be one of my more popular videos and I really like making them. They're super fun and it's always wild to see myself looking like super super different. I haven't made one since I started on TikTok though so I wanted to make a TikTok and I've also never talked through the process of like covering my tattoos and taking my piercings out and doing all the things that get me from how I look here to like a normal girl at the end. I thought it might be fun to see some sort of like behind the scenes action here. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching. I'm drinking kombucha and I am like artfully dodging the scoby. I love kombucha, but if that touches my mouth, I will throw up. All right, first things first, gonna pop in some contacts. All right, these lenses are the Premier Brown from Oh My Kitty. I do have an affiliate link in the description. Not that I feel like I have to give these disclaimers like every time, but there's nothing abnormal about having tattoos and piercings. There's nothing wrong with either appearance. I have to name things a certain way for people to click on the video. That's all. All right, let's start removing stuff. The trick I did with my ears last time is I pop the plugs out and then I can just take my ear, it's big enough, to just wrap it around. So when I have a wig on later, that won't matter. I did shave today. I just did with like a beard trimmer and not with like a razor and stuff. The theory is that it won't matter on TikTok because of the filters and stuff, but I don't know. I just haven't found like a razor or a method or anything that won't give me a horrible breakout. fancy waterproof blister band-aid. Take the plug out and then kind of just cover up the hole with this and hopefully it will stay. Dry that off a little. It's inevitable that there's gonna be drool. A direct open portal to my mouth. This is so freaky. Like, uh, I'm at least looking at it through the kind of blurry filter on TikTok. Ooh, I'm not gonna be talking right. Um, and it looks like I don't have that piercing. Or my ears are in. Oh, disturbing. All right, let's make it worse and start covering tattoos. I'm just gonna do my neck and you know, the, um, the moon here. We're gonna start off with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. HD High Definition Concealer in the peachy color. Alright, and I'm gonna use this Alien Cosmetics, Unearthly Cosmetics A3 brush and buff that in a little. Layer number one, I'm going to set that with the CoverGirl Clean Matte like press foundation, just with the puff that it comes with. Mayron Barrier Spray. And then we're gonna go into layer number two, and that is gonna be this Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 Foundation and Concealer. This stuff's pretty hardcore. And I'm gonna use the same brush for that. I'm just squirting it on the back of my hand. Oh, oh, oh. Things are happening. Finding a lot of hairs I missed. Definitely too late now. <laughs> Hopefully one final layer of foundation will do it and I can go ahead and just start bringing it up my face as well. What I remember most about doing these videos is how um, greasy and cakey I feel. <laughs> you know, I mean, normally I don't like really wearing foundation at all. If I don't need a super duper heavy coverage, I like to just wear tinted moisturizer. I'm going to be using the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. Yeah. 
have it as long as it is opaque enough for the TikTok, we're good, I think. I do have this like white loose setting powder, which may be my best bet. Yeah, not cover perfect, but honestly in the video here, it's not so bad. All right, so let's contour a little bit, shall we? Now I want to use something a little bit warmer than what I normally would. So I like to keep it pretty dead looking. All right, so in this uh, Alien Cosmetics Unearthly palette, there's the color Broomstick. I'm gonna go ahead and use that on a Coastal Sense contour brush. I'm also going to, I think from the same palette, grab some potion up here. I'm just going to very, very lightly add this on top of my cheek contour. Lighter than that, oh god, you know, I'm not someone that wears blush really either. I'm not very practiced in it. Got the Urban Decay Smoke It, Smoke It, Smoke, Smoky Naked Palette, and I'm going to use the color High. That's my highlight, uh -huh. the A4. This is like my normal eyebrow stuff. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Lock On Liner Brown Cream in Medium Brown. Brown Cream. I'm just a little Wet n Wild Angle Brush. I normally do like a very straight um, one, I'm gonna kind of more follow how my hair would actually grow, I think. I don't know. Next, I've got the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in dark brown. And what I like to do is just draw on a couple hairs like that, and then I take the same brush while it's still wet and then kind of like flip them around. Try to make it look natural. I'm gonna set the existing hairs with an e.l.f. medium brown wrap gel. I think that's as good as we're gonna get those. Next, we'll do some eye makeup. I'm gonna be using this Urban Decay Jean-Michel Lascaux palette. This is the Gold Creo. I'm gonna use pretty much all these top five colors in descending order of the darkness. I'm just gonna kind of jump around between them. I don't wanna spend too much time. I'm gonna use this Coastal Sense eyeshadow brush. Jumbo Pencil and Milk by Waterline. For eyeliner, my regular Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner, and then I'm just gonna do two of hopefully very subtle, nice triangles. Not great with eyeliner, and that's a lot of times why they end up 
huge because I'm like fixing one side, fixing the other, fixing the other. So, let's see. Pop on mascara. I'm using Man Eater by Tarte. These ones, Kala Stellar. I think that I will actually, I'll cut them in half. How about that? Just make them a little bit less dramatic. I'm gonna apply the adhesive to them. And while that is getting tacky, I'll do the lips. I feel like I'm on borrowed time. I don't know how long this band-aid's gonna hold. I don't wanna push my luck. Mix Lingerie XXL in, do do do, I wanna say it's unhooked. It is unhooked. I have a lip brush. This one is by e.l.f. Quick time. Okay, I'm using Fatherin. Week two is always linked below. And thusly this week will be linked in that video. Oh yeah, that brings it together. It never gets less freaky. Very into sweaters. If you want to know what I wear on a daily basis besides the pictures that I actually post on Instagram where I put a lot of effort in, uh, it's it shorts in a sweater every day. I, let's not get it all over. I don't want to get makeup all over. That life hack, maybe. Maybe this will make it worse. Put a little towel there. <sighs> Nailed it. I have a necklace. This is a little leaf. It, it matches the tattoo on my ear. I love it. It's from Polly Eye. They sent it to me. All right, this is the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think this is super freaky. Please watch the TikTok. It will be better than this video. It will be a little bit more convincing. Yeah, if you like this video, please leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.